y'all. Happy Monday. So today I'm actually off and it feels so weird because I'm never off on Mondays, but I wanted to vlog because I started vlogging this past weekend, but then I can, didn't really, you know, continue with that. <laughs> so right here, I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip from Saturday. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and insert a few clips from the weekend. Yeah, but I didn't know the time, so hopefully it looked it up. I was like, probably around six, but I really don't know. Kind of a new thing for us, so hopefully you can all hear me okay. Good? Yeah! A pretty good weekend on Saturday there was a tree lighting at the mall by us it's like a big thing this was the first night of it so we like to go on the first night because they have the fireworks they do do it every weekend but not the fireworks portion so that's really cool um, and the kids enjoy that and then on Sunday Chloe and I went to church and then went to brunch and then came like just walked around the mall and went to a couple stores that she wanted to go in like Christmas store and stuff like that um, and then we came home and chilled out with the rest of the family. Um, Noah had a bit of a rough day yesterday, so that's why it was just me and Chloe. But it was nice because we don't spend that much time with just us alone. So that was cool. So, um, yeah, today is Monday. Like I said, I was going to quickly show you guys my fragrance collection because I've been promising to show this forever. Um, but I don't want to do a dedicated video because it's really not like... <laughs> It's not like all the other YouTubers. I'm just tell y'all. <laughs> y'all have seen little pieces of it here and there. Um, but I'm gonna show it to you how I have it set up just so you can see how I store how I like my fragrance storage. And I'll give you like some quick like little close-ups of certain sections. But we're not this is not like a collection as far as like going through each fragrance. I will do one of those videos in January if y'all want to see it. So let me know. Um but yeah, let me quickly turn y'all around and do this. All right, so we are in my closet. This is the closet off my bathroom um, in my master bedroom. And I like to keep all my fragrances here because this is where I get dressed. And I like to spray on my fragrances after I get dressed. Now, I did not clean up my closet for y'all. Y'all see I'm missing all kinds of shoes over there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so ignore that stuff. Y'all just want to see the fragrance, right? So like I said, I don't have a big like fragrance room or fragrance closet. I don't have a huge closet as far as like where I go sit down and get dressed. This is the closet that is in our house that my husband and I share. And it is a decent sized closet, but it's not like a room um, unless it's a very tiny room. <laughs> but yeah, this is, I'm not going to show y'all the whole closet because it's a little bit of a mess, but <laughs> this is an actual real life closet so I think I don't know how many fragrances I have right now but if I had to guess I would say probably just under 200 so these are in really no particular order this first tray they're just how they fit in there honestly um I do have these BDK bottles at the front because I think they look nice sitting together and I will from time to time switch up this tray like just move different things to the front because I feel like I'm more likely to grab what's in the front here but I always like to have nicer looking bottles at the front because it just looks nicer but this tray is just a random hodgepodge of fragrances most of these fragrances I don't have a ton from each brand um so that's why they are here um and then back behind this tray i do have all of my mugler bottles laying down and like i said i didn't prepare for this video so my fragrances are dusty okay don't come for me do not come for me this is real life <laughs> so these are all my mugler bottles and then i have this other little tray here and all of these trays i picked up from either like marshall's or home goods over the years they are all old they have been pulled from random places in my house. So 
just FYI. But this tray, I tip, I started out sitting all my shorter bottles in here because I didn't like having a bunch of shorter bottles in this tray because then I don't see them. So, but now there's other stuff in there too. So I have all of my replica fragrances. This little one is here because I just got it and that's where it fits. <laughs> uh, and then I have some short old, shorter fragrance bottles. Um, like these little tiny ones, even though they're full size, they're very short. So if I sat them with my other stuff, I would not see them. So there's that. And then on this, um, I think it's like a cupcake stand. I did get this from Amazon, so I may be able to link it. Um, but this stand, I have all my Parfums de Marley, my Dior Private Lines, my Amelage, my... MFKs and this Nuit et Confidences. That's the only one I have from that brand, but I really love the bottle. So that's why it's up there. And then on the kind of side front of these trays, I have my Armani Privé bottles. This one in Blue Lazuli, just cause they are big and that's where they fit. <laughs> and then back here, I have these like, these are actually stackable bins. I bought them for another purpose and they didn't work out for that purpose. So I just put them up there and started putting fragrances in them. So these are actually two bins stacked. Nothing is in the bottom, but I figure I could put like, I don't know, nothing's in the bottom for now. So, um, but they're covered up anyway. So the two stackable bins, and then I have these risers that are really old and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, well, I know that when I initially bought these risers, I don't know how, if you can see how skinny they are, but I bought them for nail polish back in the day. I've had these since my old house and I no longer have that much nail polish where I need risers or anything. <laughs> so um, yeah, they are in here now and they just hold all of my like skinny bottles pretty much. So anything that's skinny that can fit here goes in here. Um, so I got those and then I'll go around the other side for y'all just a second. No, actually, we'll wait to go around the other side because I don't want to be walking back and forth. So, yeah, I have those. And then down here, like outside of the risers, I have some bigger bottles that kind of don't really fit anywhere. Uh, like big round bottles. I feel like those are the hardest to store for me, honestly. Then up top, I have all my Tom Fords. I have a jewelry box there. In this Louis Vuitton, like, slip out box, it's actually some... Um, spray vials I'll show y'all real quick so empty spray vials and I like to keep them in here for easy access because I've started decanting some of my fragrances and I typically will just do it like day of when I'm getting ready to wear them and then I just put it in there and take it with me <laughs> but anyway so these are my Tom Fords here and then we'll get around to that side, but I have a couple rosas. I only have two rosas. This jewelry box I've had forever, but I think it's from West Elm, if I remember correctly. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's old. So let me go around to the other side. All right, so this is the other side. And again, it's just the same riser, but you can see it better from this side as far as this side goes. I got my Kaolis, my Manceras at the top. And then a bunch of fragrances. These are the same like nail polish risers. <laughs> Sorry, it's losing focus. These are the same nail polish risers. So again, skinny bottles. Got my Nishanes, my Killians. And then of course, these huge Killian bottles. Like I know they look really cute on the display, but I honestly don't have the space for that. And I don't want to move my fragrances out of this closet because it's perfect for them. This is where I get dressed. This is a space that is dark and perfect for fragrance. And I just feel like this is the most natural space for me to have them. So I can't grow beyond this space. <laughs> but anyway, um, so those are my Killian bottles. And then back there is my Killian Discovery set with all the travel sprays in it. And then up top, I have my Zerjoffs and Joe Malone's. And that is it guys so that is how i store my fragrances um i felt like today was a good time to share it because a lot of times fragrances will be missing from this because i'll pull them down to do a video and i do all my videos downstairs my closet is actually upstairs so um i felt like this was a good time for me to share these with y'all because all my fragrances are here so yeah that is what my collection looks like and yeah i will try to link i will try to link the 
risers or no i'll try to link that cupcake stand and the risers that i have up top with the tom fords and the zerjoffs because i know i got those from amazon um the stackable bins i could try to link those too but honestly that's probably not the best choice to store fragrances it's just what i had and um like i said the reason that i ordered them they didn't work out so i just put them to use in here so there's my collection. So although I'm off on this Monday, you can see I'm not like dressed up or anything. I'm just gonna be doing stuff around the house to my knowledge. I don't think I'll be going anywhere. I do have a call scheduled and stuff like that, but I need to clean up to prepare this house for Thanksgiving. <laughs> we do have family coming into town for just one night. Um, but any, even if they weren't coming, I honestly need to clean up anyway. So that's what I'll be doing today. Um, Nothing, I mean, of course, I will have to clean again before Thanksgiving, but like a lot of like tidying up I can do now or, you know, at least next week it won't be as bad. I won't have to touch every single room in my house. Hopefully that makes sense. But I figured before I get to doing that stuff that I need to do, I would show y'all this package from Old Navy because I'm going to be um, washing these and then putting them away. But I ordered the black santa pajamas from old navy so my family and i every christmas we i buy pajamas for us and we wear matching pajamas that's what we do on christmas day and so these are for that and i don't i ordered them early this year because typically they always sell out so fast especially anything with like a black santa on it <laughs> so i ordered these from old navy and for the kids i got them just the fitted ones and I think I like the fitted uh, pajamas for kids. I just think they're super cute and they're comfortable. And some of the like wide leg pants, I feel like my kids can trip on going upstairs. So I don't really love those, especially Chloe because her she's shorter. So hers are typically more to the ground, whereas Noah, Noah is tall, so he doesn't really have that problem. But um, anyway, so yeah, these are the ones I got for the kids. I got them the same one, so I don't need to show you both of them. And then for my husband and I, I just got us the pants because they are flannel. These were on, when I purchased these, these were on sale for $9 because Old Navy was having like their $9 flannel pajama sale or whatever. But y'all know Old Navy, they always put stuff on sale. So. <laughs> um, so I purchased just the bottoms for us. And honestly, it's always too hot for us to wear flannel tops and even the bottoms are kind of pushing it. So I just purchased the bottoms and we'll probably just wear white t-shirts with these or we do have a Santa shirt from last year. Um, because we kind of did the same thing. So we might wear those again this year. Um, but yeah, these are what I got for my husband and I. And these Santas do come in different colors. Ours are the black ones, of course. But they also have like a medium, like lighter skin one or a white one. <laughs> and so that's what I picked up. And then I also picked up another pair of the flannel pants for me. Um, they are candy canes. And again, it's too hot for me to wear these right now to bed, but I will wear these later on in the year. But since they were on sale for $9, I was like, let me go ahead and get one. Cause I typically will buy one like pair that I'll wear over and over throughout the holiday season. Whereas the Santa ones, I feel like we just wear them on Christmas and then I don't really wear them anymore. So <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, that's that. Let me stop procrastinating and get to doing what I need to do. And I will check in with y'all later. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So I know it's been probably about two days since my last part of this vlog, but y'all know how I do. I don't do interesting stuff every day, so sorry. Anyway, I'm getting ready to film some videos and I was gonna try out some of my products from Sephora. So I figured I might as well turn the camera on and do like a little quick get ready with me. Um, yeah, so got my coffee. Just made myself an iced coffee. This is cinnamon sugar cookie I think I'll try to link it <laughs> but it's a k-cup and it's delicious so this is what I'm drinking on today and I received these products from beauty blender this is the beauty blender bounce skin tint and hopefully it's the right color this was sent to me via influencer I'm a little box here um, so hopefully this is the right color. They don't know I'm filming this video. I actually have to do a post on Instagram for it and review it on the Sephora website. So this video, I'm just including this because I'm going to try it for the first time. But it's not a requirement just for transparency purposes. I wanted to let y'all know that. Uh, but they sent me the shade tan number four. 
and I did like do a drop of this on my hand because it looks really light in the bottle, but it's actually, um, it seems to be an okay color when I tried it on my hand. I just did a drop the other day. Um, so I think it's gonna work. So um, let me go with my beauty blender. So I got my beauty blender ready. And typically I wouldn't apply a skin tint with a beauty blender because this is like a very thin, kind of one of those droppy type foundations, like a very liquidy one. But that's how they recommend applying it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll see. Hopefully I like it, cause y'all know I like the like lighter coverage foundations. I'm not one for a lot of heavy coverage. What am I doing? I'm so out of order. <laughs> oh, apparently I am thrown off because I'm doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my primer first. <laughs> this is the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. And then I'm gonna put on an eyeshadow primer. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer. Brows, I'm using my Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. And I'm actually almost out of this. I gotta buy another one today because this weekend I'll be doing something fun and I don't want to run out of my favorite brow pencil. So I will be buying another one of these today I really need to do my brows they look pretty bad but I'm trying to because this will be a fun weekend for us I'm trying to save my beautification for this Friday so everything can be fresh so I got to do my eyebrows I got to you know do all my body exfoliation and stuff and nails, manicure, pedicure. Um, so I'm going to try to be doing all that on Friday. So I feel like I'm kind of roughing it right now. Okay, so brows are done. And then for my eyeshadow, I'm going to try my new uh, eyeshadow that I picked up in the Sephora sale. This is one of the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Eye Creams. And I have it in the shade Star Gold. So that's what it looks like. You don't need a lot of this. This is my first time using it. But just based off like how much applied with that little dot that I did, you honestly don't need a lot of it. So that's good to know because these are kind of expensive, but not that bad. I mean... All right, so that's what that looks like. I really bought this to be like a one shot, one shadow, like one and done eyeshadow look. But because it's sparkly, I definitely feel like I need something else there. So I think I'm going to just pop some of my bronzer up there. I don't even know what bronzer I was planning on using today. But I'm just gonna grab this one. This is the Fenty. <sighs> I, I I can never say the name. <laughs> I had it down, but I feel like every time I try to say it on camera, I second guess myself. So we're just not gonna say it. It's the one I always use, okay? What am I doing? I am so off today. Anyway, this is <laughs> an eyeshadow brush. Uh, and I'm just gonna pop that in the crease. Just cause I, felt, I feel like it's a little bit too much shimmer all over the lid for me. And that's still very easy. I pop bronzer in my crease all the time. So I don't know. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this right now, but we'll see if it lasts because if it does last, it could be like a really quick eyeshadow look that would allow me to wear eyeshadow more often, uh, but it doesn't have to be like a big to do. So anyway, now we're gonna go ahead and apply the foundation. It says to shake it up well. And I'm just gonna drop some on my hand That was like a dropper and a half full like of this. So that's a lot. I'm sure I don't need that much. This looks pretty light. We'll see if I can make it work though. But it looks, it's definitely too light. And it says to apply it with the beauty blender. So that's what we're gonna do.
that's a problem with getting foundations from like influencer um you never know if you're getting the right shade and they only send you one shade and it's hard to tell on the little screen you know if it's going to be the right shade for you so it is definitely too light i don't know if y'all can tell but i could definitely tell it's too light but i definitely think it is workable it definitely looks better blended out than it does like here here it looks like it's for somebody white <laughs> <laughs> but on my skin, um, it doesn't look that bad. So the coverage is, it's light, but I like it. It feels really good on the skin. Doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup. So, so far, so good. Just the wrong color. But that's not their fault. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer using my tried and true Born This Way Butterscotch Concealer. You can see the concealer is darker than the foundation. <laughs> also, another thing that makes it hard to pick out foundation colors on like influencer is not like you know what you're picking. So like a lot of times I can pick out a foundation easily like on Sephora's website because certain brands you can kind of just tell and then you can see swatches. But on influencer, you only have those few swatches to look at and you can't like cross reference it because you don't know what foundation you're like picking for they don't tell you that ahead of time so it's always a surprise when i get an influencer box on what's coming so just fyi and then because my bronzer is quite light i think i'm going to use this fenty bronzer because it is a warmer bronzer um so i think that'll work well with this foundation and because the foundation is light, I really go ham on the bronzer. <laughs> That's what I do when I get the wrong foundation shade. I actually found it find it easier to correct a light a foundation that's too light than a foundation that's too dark. Let me know what y'all think. If I'm gonna get the wrong shade, I'd rather it be too light because I feel like it's easier for me to change the color with bronzer or even by using like a liquid uh, illuminator or bronzer with it. All right, so that's what we're looking like. I'm liking it. And what else? Oh, for blush, I'm going to use my new blush from Huda Beauty. And this is Caring Coral. This is what it looks like. And this is like the tiniest blush I've ever seen, but hopefully I like it. If not, I'm gonna take it back because it's very tiny and when i swatch it i like the color but i don't know if it's gonna look too ashy no actually it looks really pretty on the cheeks so that's good i know this is not the best lighting because i'm using my phone but you know this is a vlog so we're very chill on these so um so yeah i like this i really like the color so this will be a keeper for me and then i'm not gonna do any highlighter i don't think no and then I'm going to use my, actually, I am going to do a little bit of highlighter, not much. All right, so for highlighter, I'm going to be using this MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette, which I love. Comes with three highlighter shades in there. I'm going to be using this one today. All right. Here's that. I'm going to try out the new mascara that I picked up from Bite Beauty, and this is the Upswing Full Volume Mascara. I just picked up a mini size, a small size. So hopefully I like this. Here's what the wand looks like. This is what we're looking like. Hopefully you guys can tell even though I'm on my phone, but yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I should have known because Keiko Beauty never steers me wrong when it comes to mascara. I feel like mascara is very personal, but I feel like we typically like the same types of mascara. So yeah, I am loving this. As long as it does not flake or anything or smudge throughout the day, which, you know, I don't know now, right now, but 
as long as it doesn't do any of that, then I think this will be a winner for me. And then for my lips, I'm going to be wearing the Patrick Ta Oshi Single Lipstick. I've actually already worn this one time, uh, but this is a very pretty nude. So I'm gonna wear this. I think I may pop some gloss on top of it. So this is really close to my skin tone. So I probably should wear a liner with it, but I'm not. So. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna pop a little gloss on it um, just to do a little something, something to it. Let's see what gloss. I use this Sephora collection, what is this, a lip oil? And the color is tamarind. I use this a lot to alter the color of stuff, like glosses that are too light for me, but also just to give a little bit of shine because it doesn't give much color, but it gives like just a little something. All right. So there we are. This is my look for today. So everything looks really nice. So I'm excited to see how my makeup wears throughout the day since I'm trying some new products. But I'm gonna go ahead and get changed and film these videos and I'll check in with y'all later. <laughs>